we already got a huge match set up by Walker's Rundown. It's going to be Alliance Pro. And so what do you think of my cousin, huh? Clearly that was you. No, 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 no. That's my cousin. I flew him in special from Mexico today. On the mean streets of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing in at 179 pounds. Two. Low. Well, too low has been on a losing streak here in Seven Rivers Wrestling. A man from Minneapolis, Minnesota. What's he going to do with all this power? Clearly, he can't win. Tonight, though, he'll be taking on the Lumberjack. The Lumberjack, of course, is notorious for being a heavy hitter, and he's a solid wrestler. Yes, he is. Tonight, one of these men is going to pick up a huge victory and get shot straight up the ladder here at Summer Wrestling. Of course, this match was set up. Both men walked into the building and realized that one of them had a better beard than the other one. We're going to yeah. set it up here tonight. Who's got the better facial hair? The Lumberjack or Tulo? I did want to say, my cousin did tell me to uh, send a big shout out to Nick Kroll and El Chupacabre. Some of his favorites out there. So thank you to Nick Kroll. Thank you to El Chupacabre. If you know who that is, you know why he's thanking them. I can smell it over here. I don't know exactly why he was able to <laughs> say thank you. I'm surprised he was actually able to say it without slurring his words. Big ding, ding, ding. This match starting with a very little fanfare. I think uh, these two men just want to get it on. Yeah, both of these men have very no-nonsense in the ring. Lumberjack, of course, wearing those non-traditional wrestling boots. If you can get a shot of that camera operator, those are nothing but straight-up work boots. That's right. He just comes in out of the field, or the forest, if you will, and uh, does that kind of stuff right there. Oh, the Lumberjack clearly with the height, weight, strength, and I would say hair on top of the head type of thing. He's got the advantage going on. I don't know, yeah. Our ring announcer seems to think he's got a beard advantage too, but I think... You I'm know, gonna... if we had to do a tail the tape of facial hair, I think it would be very close. It would be fairly, that's the only thing that's fairly close. Nice go behind there, he's got him in a uh -oh. waist lock, and he just just levels it Banga. over. Like Tulo's gonna be a little more cunning than that. Little more cunning than that. That's saying a lot. Tulo definitely not known for his smarts. I mean, you got in a fight with Josh Callista over a um, young woman from Whitehall, Wisconsin. I don't think she was worth fighting. Really? Yep. Why would oh, you... that's a huge shot. Why would you fight with anybody from Whitehall? I don't know. Oh, missed that huge right hand. I should say over anybody from Whitehall. Nice drop kick to the bottom of the knee. Oh, runs right into him. Of course, people here actually think Tulo is a midget. No, he's actually a couple of inches taller than a midget. He's actually a dwarf. Hence the beard. Nice forearm there. You can tell by the, uh, they are, uh, what's the, his, his limbs are, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here, Jesse? Um, I don't know. Big? No, 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 no. They're, uh, like, when, when it's a midget, their, their fingers don't match their limb size. Dwarfs do. Anatomically correct? No, no, no. All midgets have, no, no, no. Dwarf, I know, but, uh, you know, our ring announcer, Chris Grubb, is trying to feed us lines over here, too, and it's not really working. No, it's not, because I can't think of the adjective that I'm trying to come up with. He's been worried about feeding lines to the two-man boy band. You know, he's a huge fan. Of he is a big, big, big fan. We're talking lines, son. Lines. yay -o. A nice choke there. Choke? What do you tell you? Just kneeling down, taking a breather. No, he wasn't. Yes, he Clearly was. Clearly, he was choking him. No, <laughs> taking a breather. It's a huge elbow there. Breather. Lumberjack in a world of hurt here. I tell you the truth, if I was a betting man, which I am, I would actually would have said that Lumberjack would have been controlling this match. From beginning to end. Exactly, from bell to bell. But right now, Tulo is showing a lot here tonight. He did what you got to do, and that's take the big man off his feet and then keep him there. Well, you don't want to infuriate the Lumberjack. No, he has a don't. notorious temper. Uh-oh. And you just saw it right there. He oh. just picked him up. Oh. That's just raw strength. Nothing pretty about that. Huge back elbow. My God, he could have caved in his chest. Big time. Going for that huge scoop. My God, what a slam. Going for the cover. Referee nearly sliding nope. out of the ring. 
Those people over there are going to get kicked yet tonight. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Matulo nipping up. Wow. Oh. Hey, that was the wrong thing to do. Did he forget that somebody else was in the ring with him? I think he did. Holy monkeys. Man, right now the Lumberjack is not fooling around one bit. I don't not think even he's in the mood for fun and games here tonight. No. He's got beer to drink. <laughs> Huge suplex. Wow. Floats well, over. Looks like. Nope. You can tell this. The size dis is terrible. If our cameras can get it, I mean, Lumberjack is like two times bigger, if not four times bigger. And too low. Oh, big elbow. I it grazed him on that. Just two. Just a two count. The action here tonight's been hot and heavy. We've seen a lot of. That was Blank Lobel right in front of the referee. That should have been a disqualification if I've ever seen one. Oh, a huge DDT now. I think he confused the ref there. He was telling him to look outside, and, the, and Kyle didn't know what he was talking about, and then he completely missed that low blow. Good on Tulo. Good on him. Well, Tulo now looking to the high risk district. No. Size of just pin him. No. You're not going to beat the low jack that way. So. A little lackadaisical there. A little lackadaisical. Wow, you know, I've never met a man with such a huge Napoleon complex oh. like Tulo. Oh my goodness, Tulo. Irregardless of the way he counts, you got to keep wrestling. Wow, uh -oh. schoolboys him up. Referee out nope. of position. Just a one. One and a half, if you will. Look, these men have been waiting all night for this match. Oh, ducks nope. the close line. Goes from cross, but oh. he knocks him down. Wow. Yeah. My God. Only just a two, two count. Wow, I was surprised he got the lumberjack off his feet with that cross body block. I just tried to drink my microphone. I did. I went like that. You should really lay off the microphone. I really should. I really see now I try to talk into my beer. It doesn't work when I'm trying to talk into my beer. No, it does not. Three. Three at the last. Is that kid over there drinking Miller Light? No, it's a, no, it's sprite. a sprite. Thank God. That's a sprite. I thought it was a. We are in Toma, so it's not outside of the realm of possibility. Hey now, hey now. This is a fine place to be from. I noticed you didn't say fine place to live. Oh, a huge chop there. Dulo. The Irish ripped the lumberjack into the opposite corner. Man, that was a lot of force. Dulo, full head of seat. What? Oh, he missed that one completely. Wow, what's going on? Huge clothesline. Big lariat. Big one. That's it right there. No, he's on oh, the ropes. Tulo got to the ropes. That's using some ring smarts. I think that was just basically just reflexes right there. Tulo's out. Look at him. He's not even moving. No. Would you after that? No, no, oh, no. Goodness. I'm not even a trained professional. I would actually tell you to put think, my chest I think, right, Kevin. I think Lumberjack's been training in the Jiggy Jack Spade Dojo. He's got a black belt and quack sway. Oh, yeah, he does. Uh-oh. This is not good here. Not high risk, but medium risk. Oh, he misses oh, the big, big leg drop. Huge hit here. He's got clearly the recount. Tulo wow. takes a big one. Talk about the upset of the decade. Steals Two. one from the lumberjack. Whoa. I mean, honestly, we're talking. This is like this is like the Clippers coming back in the fourth quarter with eight minutes left. Tulo picking up a huge victory, and now look at him, so braggadocious now. Look at that award-winning smile from Tulo. My God. I've never seen this man this happy before. And honestly, to tell you the truth, you could probably call that top rope his fiance after tonight. Yeah. He was definitely outmatched tonight, but that's what you got to win it. You got to steal matches when you have to and, and win them when you can. Uh, definitely one of the biggest matches we're going to have tonight is Toma's own live wire going against Toma's own Travis Lee. Oh my. It's the TT match. Plus, also, we're going to have a huge tag team encounter as the River Valley champion, Sexy KC, teams up with superstar Steve Sturm, the Seven Rivers Wrestling heavyweight champion, and they're going into the tag competition against Jake Classic and Misfit Man. That's right. And uh, I, I got to think that Miranda's going to play a little part in that thing. Yeah, you just wanted to play a little part, right? Oh, I wanted to play with a little part. That's all I know.